Hey Aquarius, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host Mirage. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to your birthday season, Aquarius season's forecast reading. So I know the last time that I did a reading for you guys was for the 2024, you know, yearly forecast, but I want to show you guys something. For now, that is my vision board, just like posted on the wall. Because I don't think I'm going to find a board big enough, but I'm finally just doing a thing where instead of like trying to stay focused, I'm putting my goals where I can see them. Some of them might not be achievable this year, but I might at least plant the seeds, right? <clears throat> so let's get started. We're going to do your Mystic Shaman Tarot first. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Just wanted to get that out the way. You have completion. Some of you could have been born on the 9th of February. The number nine could be significant to you. But yeah, some of you have finally ended a very long and excruciating cycle of a lesson that has just been over your head for a while. And I feel like a lot of you are accepting that there's still work to do, but this is a time where you can take some, you know, uh, some form of celebration. And this being during your birthday season, I don't see why not. That could be it. Like you just feel like you completed a cycle of being wiser and you know, you're having a good time or you're about to have a good time. You're gonna make sure that it happens either way. <clears throat> So let's do your Moonology Manifestation. Let's see what's going on with you emotionally. All right. You have the first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Yeah, from air sign to air sign, Libra is all about balance. So I feel like uh, this is the very beginning. You've, you've made a dent in this, this journey here of um, not letting darkness seep in and just kind of cascading everything that you got going for you. Sometimes we slip fall, sometimes we fall, fall, fall short of our goals or we, you know, go down a dark path very briefly, but it is what it is, you know? I kind of skipped ahead a little bit, so I'm gonna come back to this card, but we need to do the, the, um, the cosmic insights first. I'm gonna pull three. So this will be shorter than the 2024 reading because this is just for a season and not necessarily like a whole year. So let's see, let me get one more. I hope y'all don't mind the flamenco music. I mean, I love spiritual music and meditation music, but here's my thing. Like it's hard to find something that's not copywritten. Even though it, I, I literally go on YouTube and I'm like, hey, I need some, you know, a long uh, like playlist or if it's not a playlist, I need, you know, a just a, a video with like music that I can listen to for a few hours and it's not copywritten and it'll say it's not and then I get a copyright strike. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it's a mess. Okay, Aquarius, so. <clears throat> in the beginning you have spy someone's got their eye on you you are doing your research you probably know who this is you probably know why they're watching you but <clears throat> whether or not it'll be addressed because next you have caution ignore my niece I don't know what's going on in there but <laughs> find out more information don't overwork yourself So yeah, it, it just seems to me like someone doesn't have the best of intentions for you and you may call them out and it could turn into something mm, chaotic for a better word, but also like finally you have confessions in reverse. So someone's trying not to tell you something, whether it's good or bad, I don't know, but like it could be gossip better yet, but someone also could be like hey such and such they're looking at your social media or such and such is like you know they hanging out with one of your close friends or your partner and you know they i they, both of them talking shit fuck i got the like you know the voice messages or i got the screenshots or you know something 
So it's like someone's trying to tell you something and you find out in a different way. That's what I'm getting from that. So be careful. That's kind of a shitty way to begin your birthday. Oh, oh, right. So to address the whole theme of this reading, sorry, I forgot. We have the Knight of Cups. Someone's trying to offer a cup of love, but mm, they're not feeling quite sure if now is the time to present it. They know they have some work to do, <clears throat> so they're not going to fight for you. They're not a king. They haven't made up their mind that they're going to stay, but it could be a younger water sign that might have a crush on you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, perhaps. Or, I mean, you know, you're the water bearer, but Pisces is right after you. So probably closer to Pisces season, this is where something starts to reveal itself where somebody they've been you know and that could be that spy they've been watching you and they want to kind of be with you but they might be stalking you not knowing that what they're doing is considered stalking like it's innocent enough they might just be like wondering where you work and stuff they don't have a plan to like you know hurt you or anything but they're getting a little too close for comfort and again they might not want to tell you that that's what's going on because they feel like you're going to reject them or you're going to think they're creepy. And let's face it, if people can't tell you how they're really feeling, but they show up everywhere you are and they're trying to get close to your circle and ask about you and talk about all their experiences with you, then yeah, like, <laughs> that's kind of creepy. Like, you know, just talk. Don't be afraid of rejection. Sometimes that's, you know, the universe trying to protect you for something you don't need. So we're going to do... Um, the divine tarot oh my god <sighs> not the whole row being in reverse don't click off because it still has potential to be something interesting in the beginning you have the seven of wands in reverse some of you have worked too hard or don't want to work too hard and you're realizing that like there's no reward in this but it's right underneath spy. So maybe someone just feels like it's a lot of work to have to have a conversation with you. It's a lot of work to build something together to, there's a lot of things here. Hold on, I kind of have the munchies, I some sweet stuff. These are raisin nuts, yes they are. <laughs> All right, so, um, but here's the thing. Even though it's in reverse, this person still wants to try. So it's kind of like, you're not noticing the effort, but it doesn't mean that in the background they aren't trying to work up the courage to pursue having an audience with you or letting you know they notice something where this can go in so many different directions. In the middle, we have temperance in reverse this is a Sagittarius energy. Could be a Sagittarius because there's wands there. And then also a Knight of Wands in reverse. Like, all of this is reversals. <sighs> this is lack of patience. And I think that's what you're being cautioned on. To not jump the gun and be like, oh, it's you. You're the one that Mirage was telling me about or something crazy like that. Or, you know, you're the one making those fake accounts trying to talk to me. What? <laughs> you know, be careful. And then, yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse with the confessions. You're going to reject this fire sign because they're in the childish energy and you already know they're not going to stay around long even if they do get to a point where y'all can speak and be comfortable with each other it just is what it is so like i said the way i see it you're going to catch on to it but let me clarify with the spellcasters tarot deck here damn you want all your cards like immediately, huh? All right, let me get one more. Damn. You got a whole row of reversals. Even the clarifications are in a reverse sign. Like what? Okay. So the Ace of Swords in reverse over the Seven of Wands in reverse. Ultimately, before I even go any further, this fire sign, you're not giving them a chance at all. This could be actually why you have to keep your heart open and why you're feeling like you've gone through a completion you just had enough of their shit so you know this person is not trying to be honest with you they're not trying to communicate and as an air sign you're like look i, don't... <laughs> I already know where this goes i've seen the pattern goodbye you have nothing good to give to me that i can't already get to myself 
Next, you have the Five of Cups in reverse over temperance. This person makes you sit in this pit of, hmm, like doubting yourself, pitying yourself, overthinking, just being all around toxic. Like even to yourself, like, you know, you, you want something that's passionate, you want something that's beautiful, but this person is just, look, they're showing up as the emperor in reverse over the night of wands in reverse. This person could also be, this This could be Aries or uh, Taurus, but this person could also potentially be someone that tries to put on a front like they're more established than they are, that they can give you the world. But I mean, that's also why they're taking so long to come correct if they plan to do it at all. Um, Cause again, someone might tell you something that this person is up to and then you decide to finally have a sit down, talk to them and let them know, hey, might wanna stop doing that because no, I don't return your feelings and I don't plan to. Like you can't even trust to be cordial and have a conversation about feelings. So why would I really be vulnerable and give mine away when you can't even do the same? Like those are huge red flags. Just know that like there's one thing about being shy, but someone still makes an effort versus a person who acts like you are not that serious, but behind your back, you're all they think about, you're all they want to, you know, pursue, but they, you know, get your head out of your ass, man. <laughs> talk am i gonna stab you that's how you're feeling we're gonna end this with the super attractor you have when i live and act from a place of spiritual alignment i can trust that everything is working out for me even if i don't know when or how it will happen so despite your birthday season being about having to cut off a fire sign potentially at the end of the day there's still growth you still learn something from this but that doesn't mean there isn't room to party and have a good time so once this is out the way, there's it, it'll feel like there's like relief off of your shoulders, I feel like. And some of you already know, like, even if something does happen and it kind of gets in the way of things, it's still not going to slow down my ability to party and have a good time. Don't matter. And we love that energy. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It's flourishing. <laughs> and I want that for you. So, yeah, Aquarius, that has been your reading. Once again, happy birthday to all my beautiful Aquariuses, my water bearers. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below if this happened to resonate. If it did not, that's totally okay. You are not Cinderella. Do not force the shoe to fit. It doesn't have to. Just leave it for someone else who probably needs it. <clears throat> If you would like to support me or the channel in other ways and other forms of social media, they're all in my all my links down below in the description box, as well as, like I said, ways to actually support the channel overall. And finally, you know, just make sure to check out my gaming and my vlog channel. There's always like some good stuff on there, too. But yeah, this reading will be up at the time of your birthday season, not a day sooner. So for some of you, you may see this right when it gets uploaded and then for others of you you might see that there's a premiere and that you might be fiending i don't know <laughs> i will see you when the time is right in another video mm, bye